All right, hello, my name is Silver Kyle, and today we are going to be taking a look at how I stretch out an omnibus that has a very tight binding. Uh, generally, I end up seeing these with DC, more modern books. Once in a while, Marvel does this as well, but I never feel that I have to stretch it up as much as it would a very tightly bound DC book. And what happens usually is that um, it, there's too much glue, uh, which weighs it down and kind of makes it want to close shut. It doesn't want to stay open, especially when you're at the beginning or the end of the books. Generally in the middle, you're, you're safe, but at that point, you're also uh, getting too much gutter loss because you're not getting an eye with um, uh, your, your, your book. So this is uh, The Flash by Jeff Johns Omnibus Volume 1. Uh, I had recently done it to Volume 2, um, this trick that I found. And I, I, I did not find this out on my own. Uh, I actually found this from Comic Bound uh, here on YouTube, and I'll put a link in the description box below to his channel and to the video that I found uh, this from. If, if you're into Omnibus, if you're on my channel because you like the Omnibus stuff that I, I kind of uh, cover, uh, he's very much the same way, but I would say that he's much calmer uh, in in a good way. Uh, he's very, if you like, if you watch videos on YouTube to kind of calm down and unwind, his voice is perfect for that. So definitely go check him out. Uh, a lot of great uh, content that he has. And he's the one that kind of came up with this uh, stretching. So there's going to be many layers to this, which works really well uh, for, the, uh, for, for a video like this, uh, pun intended. Okay, so... I have only stretched this book out twice the normal way, which I will show you. And um, what we're getting here is a very measly eye. That is, this is not how you want a book to, to be. You want these to almost lay flat against the hardcover uh, and have these this eye popping out so that the, the pages uh, open up quite a bit more. Um, it, it, and, and that's a major problem with DC books nowadays. This is this this uh, omnibus, I think, is like 850 pages, or, or give or take. So we're going to really have to w work our way and make it better. Another thing that Comic Bound had suggested is that because you're going to be stretching this out so much, you might get spoiled. If you've never read any of the material in here, flip it around. Helps a little bit. You don't see the word bubbles. You don't see as much necessarily what's going on. And it just helps with the process. I thought it was pretty good, so that's what I've been doing as well. So... Stretch out an omnibus first of all. So let's say you've just opened this up. I've already done this, but I'm going to show you what I did to get that little bit of an eye anyway. Because you do not want to jump any of these steps. What you do is you kind of grab a few pages and you kind of press down. And you do this back and forth. One side to the other. You're not putting a lot of pressure at all. You're just kind of helping it, it go down. And this will help open up the book on both sides so that it's not used to only opening up on one side, which you do not want to do at all. So you would keep going, going like this. And so you get to the middle of the book and I've already done this, so I'm okay to do this. And then uh, what I would do is I would close it up again and do, and do it a second time over. So that's step one. Done that twice already. So we can move on to step three. Now, what Comic Bound did, uh, has done is that he ended up doing the same process but putting, the, so a third time, normally people, I, I find we only, we all do it a second time and then we're good. So he suggested doing it a third time, but putting more pressure. And once again, I want to reiterate that this is something that he, we, we, we're both basically trying and we're not experts on the subject here. This is working for us. We might actually be damaging the books. We hope we're not. And so far, the books that he's been uh, doing this to and that I've been doing this to seems to be helping and seems to be working and is 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 not destroying our books. But it's entirely possible that this could end up hurting your book down the line. So it is a bit of a gamble, but it might work and it might um, allow you to pick up some books that you would have tried to avoid before because they had a very tight binding. So... I'm going to do this off, continue this off camera, but basically we're just applying more pressure here and I'll come back right after that. All right, so that step is now done. And now we're going to go to op opening the book about halfway in, like, like halfway through, and you're going to hold on tightly in the back here with the hardcover with your fingers and with the thumb, with your thumbs. Uh, so on both sides, and you're going to go about in the middle uh, on the pages as well. And you're going to, Hold it tightly 
and slowly and gently start to open the book and push it down all the way. And what's going to happen is that it's going to force an eye. So if you look at the eye, it's starting to force it open. So now, uh, you can't really see it that well, but it's starting to get an eye. It's bumping out a little bit more. Okay. Now, you're not just going to do that in the middle. You're going to go a little bit further where it's, as you can see, it's not one, it's not used to being open here. We're going to do the same here on this side. And that's going to force that side as well. Now we're starting to see even more of an eye. Now we're going to do that on the other side. So a bit further than the middle. And this to me really helped. Now, I'm not gonna do this for the entire time here, uh, but what I would recommend doing is really just going, kind of going back and forth a little bit further each time, closer to the mid, uh, closer to the front beginning, closer to the end, and slowly stretching that out. And over time, you'll see that it, this eye will really start popping out. So I'm gonna keep doing that and then show you what it looks like after this. All right, so that part is done. And now, even from this angle, you can kind of see that that eye is starting to show. Uh, we're also at a, um, a two page spread here. And we can see that there's still gutter loss, right? But that eye is starting to show up. So I I'm gonna try, try to get back to 476. We're gonna try to get back to that later on. All right, so that part is done. Now, now the next step, and that is, as we can see the spread here, what we would like is for there not to be as much of an angle. We would like it all to be like this, honestly. That would be, that would be ideal. And as you can see, when you do that, there's more of an eye. So what we're going to do is we're going to force this <laughs> as per usual. As you can also see, when we open the book right now, this hardcover is not wanting to go down there. By the end of this stretching, it's going to be laying flat. Like I'm going to be able to go like this and you'll hear tuck, 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 because it'll be hitting there. So anyway, like, look at this, like a few pages in, we're not done. We're, we are not nearly close to being done, but we're getting there. You can, you can almost see that. Eh, not really, not yet. It's not there yet. But anyway, so what you want to do is you want to hold down the uh, you're, we're going to do be doing this on one end and to the other. So you're going to want to hold down the thicker side where the more pages are, and then you're going to push this down gently and kind of get it used for this to be staying exactly flat and this being open. You're not putting a lot of pressure here. And then we go through the next few pages. Push down on the on the left hand side. Gently press this down. Not a lot. You're not really putting a lot of pressure here. And eventually you go all the way to the middle, and then you start, and then and then you flip it around and you do the back. So then, let's say this was done. You got to the middle, then you would flip it like this. Open that up. Push down on here. Gently push this down. Not putting a lot of pressure, just a little bit. So I'll come back once I've done that on both sides. Okay, so that step is all done. I would recommend doing that twice, maybe. It does. It, it is one of the longer processes uh, because you are taking your time, you know, pressing one side as tight as possible and slowly applying, applying a bit of pressure here. I'd recommend doing that twice. It, it really helped, and as you can see, now it even has a, a bigger eye. That's starting to look a little bit more normal. Uh, we're still not there yet. So now, 
there's there's two last steps that we're gonna do. Is that close to the middle? Maybe a little bit more. I look about right. I don't know, something like that. So this is the only one that I'm a little apprehensive of doing. I have been doing it to each one of my DC books when I am stretching them out and I want to create that eye, but it scares me a little bit. <laughs> This is the only one that I would maybe reconsider and maybe not have people do. But what you do is you go about the middle. And then you take the book and you get, you stretch it out like this. So you create an even bigger eye and you hold it there for a bit. Just so that it kind of gets used to it. And then you do it again. I mean, that's the optimal eye that we would want right there. And I can't really see the camera, but I hope it's looking right. So that one I'm a little bit scared of uh, just because we are stretching it out so much. But at the same time, I haven't had an issue so far with the books that I've done this with. And then what I do is, is we go a little bit further once again. And you, get, and you do it in that area as well. To create that bit of an angle on that eye. Because I feel that this really helps. And then we're going to do it on the other side. And you're going to kind of go back and forth doing this. That's, I mean, that's closer to the middle. I probably should have gone a little more to the left side, but. And you're going to keep doing this on each side. Maybe about there. Until you're all the way to the end of your book on both sides. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop for a second and I'll continue the rest and show you how, how it looks after that. All right, we're in the end game. So uh, stretch it out on both sides. And then what I, what I also recommend doing is also go, just going back and doing the part where uh, we would go and kind of hold on both sides tightly, open up like that. I did that another time as well afterwards. So we did like the, the full stretching like this. And then we did the, I did this again, just, I don't know, I, I started doing that and it seems to work out nicely for me. So what I wanna do is just quickly show you now what the eye is gonna look like and how much this opens now that I've stretched it out properly. Some of these things I, I feel also, I wouldn't necessarily skip any of these steps on other than the last one if you don't wanna, do the last one because you think it, it'll it'll hurt the book which it i mean it's it's possible that it might it hasn't so far for any of the books that i have but i we're not talking about years later down the road maybe, maybe i've messed these up but uh so far they're good and i don't recommend skipping any steps because it's a slow process of stretching out the book so that it becomes used to being stretched slowly patiently you know gently and then it becomes used to it. So if you just go to what, right to the end and you do the, the last one where you're, you know, you're forcing it open, that might damage the book. But because I stretched it out slowly, many other ways, it might stand a chance. So let's see what happens now. It's not touching. Darn it. Oh, okay. Well, it kind of is. These bookends is what really messes it up. So, I mean, that's obviously not going to work. But let's open up the first page. And see if it stays open. Doesn't even want to stay open. Kinda. A little bit. Let's see here. Staying open. Let's try this page. Even better. 26 pages in. It's kind of staying open. Uh, 33 pages in. Now it is still going to bounce back. It's not used to it fully. Um, you're not going to get a perfect spine out of this. You're not going to get a Marvel spine out of this, but it is doing a much better job than what it was before. 64 pages in. Oh, a spread. Uh, this, I can't tell what page this might be. 150 pages in. Okay. It's not the perfect eye you're on a side and you're, you are still getting gutter loss, but it is better than what it was before. And if we go to the middle, what was that page of that? 476, I think it was. I mean, no, is that not a... Uh, where are the pages? Okay, 476. I just want to find... It's a little bit too far. 
there. That's it's close to the middle. We are seeing an eye, and there is gutter loss, but it's not as bad as it was before. And the eye, which I'll bring it just a little bit closer to the middle here, probably about that. Oh, another two two, uh, two page spread. There's still some gutter loss, but we do have an eye now. As you can see, the eye exists. And I think that I might I'm, I might have done this a little bit too fast. I, I feel like I can uh, stretch it out a little bit more. But we're just going to go to the end to kind of show you that it does stay open on the end as well for the most part. I'm afraid to... It's not doing too bad. So, you know, it's it's not... The perfect fix, but for a book that wanted to close shut right at the beginning, it didn't do this, you know. Okay, so it's touching. It didn't do that before. I wanted to close shut on both sides. Uh, you know, I can go right here. It's staying open. It's it's better than what it was. I find that it helps. The more patience that you have, the longer that you do this in each of the steps, maybe do it a few more times for each of them, the better that you're going to get. Another small recommendation is if you take a big stack of pages, and that's where you're stretching it, it won't do as much. So the smaller stacks that you do throughout the entire book, the more that'll help. So just bear that in mind. It's going to take longer to do that, but in the end, I think it is kind of worth it. So thank you all for watching. Once again, uh, Comic Bound is the one that did all of this. So check out his channel. He's really awesome. Uh, he's getting close to 500 subscribers. And I think it would be really awesome if we got him to 500 uh, just from this video. So thank you all for watching. You have been bearded in. Beardage!